up here at the Freedom Farm, it's ripping pretty good today. It's 1520. I just ran down to the valley. And it's pretty calm, so we're gonna do some shooting. Despite the wind, we're gonna give her a shot. There's my neighbor. We're gonna do things a little smarter today. I'm gonna take a range from the blind here back to the target. And then when I get back to the bench, I'll take a range from the bench to the blind. That makes more sense. I think yesterday it was so far away that target's so little that I wasn't picking it up. 168, 166, 163, 162, 175. I don't know. This thing is not, not the best. Maybe fine for in the woods hunting with the bow. 164, 166. We'll call it 165. The table to the blind is 404. It's still pretty calm down here, which is nice. Up top, it's just ripping. Um, down here, amazingly, it's uh, really calm. So we, uh, we're at 570 yards. Let's just call it that with margin of error. Um, starting to sprinkle a little bit. It's no bueno. I'm going to show you this bipod. We're going to try it today. It is a, uh, I forget the name of it. I'll have to fill you guys in on that later. But nice thing about this Uinta, it's set up like an AR-15. And this uh, bipod mounts on top versus underneath. It articulates, swivels. So your gun just sits in that cradle. On a regular bipod, gun sits on top and it flops around. This stays centered. It's pretty slick. I dig it. We'll shoot bags today. Yesterday I had that little stand that came with this table. It's not the best. It's pretty wobbly. So we're gonna get serious today. 570, you will be defeated. We'll give her hell trying anyway. It. I'm pretty confident that I'm gonna find my mark. I know what the distance is. The wind is a breeze. Ah, it's starting to pick up. I gotta hurry. Um, but it's not like it was yesterday with the gusts ripping through this valley. So let's see what this calls for. Yeah, see, feel that wind? Of course you don't feel that wind. Wind's gusting from my back to the target again. Just got down here too late, I guess. I don't know. Ballistic cap calls for 3.5 elevation. So with that wind, my mills, it was 3.5. I factored in that wind, now it's 3.73. Let her rip, tater chip. Bet. New box of Hornady Black, 105 grain, hollow point boat tail. Six millimeter arc, Django Fett Uinta Precision UP15 rifle. 570 yards. If I find my target today, I'll put a camera down on the, on the plate. Get some better footage of that. Will we get a first round hit? Let's see. Dialed to 16 power. Let her fly. Dead old. Spit. Miss. It'll hold a little high. Not quite dialed up what it suggests. And we'll hold low and see if I can find it. Negative. We'll dial down to what they suggested initially without. Any wind 
factored in, that's 3.5 mil. Oh yeah. I center punched it. <laughs> one, two, third shot. So I took the wind out of the equation on this one and it worked. I don't know if I, I didn't hear the ring up here. I'm not sure if the camera will pick that up or not. This valley does weird things with sound, that's for sure. Bingo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the ticket right there, kids. Let's go take a look. We're gonna put this camera on the target. I got her dialed in today. Oddly, we're down here at their target and the wind's kicking back here. So it played with that second shot. Here's my first. Bam. There's my second. I'm glad I painted the fence post this time. Um, I thought I'd hit the plate. I didn't. I hit the post. The plate was hanging right like that. And, uh, and I unhooked it. But um, So that wind is definitely playing with things down here so we're gonna set this up we're gonna put the camera on target all right i touched her up with some paint man i got to shooting too late it was perfect down here about an hour ago but it winds uh starting to get tricky so let's get to shooting <laughs> yeah so the wind and back kicked up again so i dialed up to 3.7 i was missing and uh i hit this post at some point but this plate turned so i went ahead and shot it i, I was shooting at a pretty small target this is when it was square the splatters straight out this is when it the post fell the first time and then the last time i shot you can see it splatter off, but uh, yeah, figure that one out today. We're gonna we're gonna take a change of scenery. We're gonna go on a little adventure, and we're gonna stretch this out even further today. I gotta try. Yet into the line for the moment. So we're at 700 yards. I'm borrowing the neighbor's airspace. We gotta cross their field. I'm gonna give this about five shots, I think. We got, uh, this wind is, it's hoping this ridge to my right that runs all the way down this field would block this wind, but it hasn't. So it's calling for 5.22 in elevation, 0.66. Windage. We'll give it about five shots. 
see if we have any luck. Target's all the way down yonder. Nope, must have been the echo in the valley. I did not hit it. We'll try again on a better day. It's pretty, pretty bad conditions to be shooting 700 yards. Such a beautiful creek.